and I went through hell to get this thing. I mean, <laughs> I almost got my car jumped and me jumped like in North Minneapolis for this jersey. I'm not kidding you. Man. Yes. I went to like 10:30 last night. It's a good night. thing it's it still it looks nice. It looks great. It's a, Yeah, it looks good. The Parisi, the, the black. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh yeah. Can't beat it. That's one thing I want to ask that just reminded me. What's your favorite jerseys at North Dakota? here to pucks in deep episode number 57 was it yeah that- 57 sounds right to me uh, it's, it's been a lot but uh, another huge guess i mean they just keep racking up here holy hannah i mean we just might have uh you know hobie candidate and leading scorer for the number one team in the nation is that good that's pretty damn good i can't beat that <laughs> <laughs> not bad so yeah we got shane pinto of north dakota shane welcome to the show yeah thanks for having me boys pumped to have you on here uh you know I hate doing edits later. Is there any shout outs you want to give to the boys? We know that there is some questions they're going to be digging into you a bit later. Maybe just ream them right now. Yeah, I would say ream them. I mean, uh, yeah, don't, it's up to you, yeah. but uh, we'll give you the floor to start. <laughs> um, I'm not going to be hostile. I'm just going to let it. <laughs> there you go. I'll, I'll get chirped. It's all right. I'll, I'll soak it. Yeah, yeah, just make up for it on the ice when you hear them. So, I mean, yeah, team guy. Yeah, team. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh. All right. I like yeah, that exactly. move. So, yeah, let's just jump into it. I mean, you guys are just absolutely rolling right now on top of the NCHC, just like last year. Kind of in, in a similar position, I'd say, because you you know control your own destiny. Maybe get the Penrose Cup uh, with back to back series with Omaha this year. But you know, let's uh, are you guys like extra motivated? I would say you know to go to the distance after last year's season. Like you guys are absolutely rolling and just have it cut short because of COVID. Like what's that feeling like? And kind of you know how did that rally the boys this year? Yeah, I think uh, you know obviously once our season ended last year, it was pretty tough to swallow. But I think you know once. Once we came in for summer workouts, I think everyone was pretty motivated and we knew we had a good uh, freshman class coming in and, um, you know, we, uh, we knew we were going to be a good team, you know, obviously you have to see if, you know, the chemistry is there. And I think throughout the summer we built that and, um, you know, the pod was obviously a different experience and <laughs> I think that got us closer as a team and, you know, we feel good right now. We're playing well and, uh, hopefully uh, we stay hot during this uh, stretch run here. So. Yeah, I mean, amen to that. We we do like to say there's an ECH bump now. Uh, it wasn't always there. <laughs> no, it's it usually goes the other way around. Yeah, but, we, uh, we had some tough luck, but we did have John Leonard on last week, and he buried for the Sharks this week. So, uh, I mean, nice. I'd be scared if I were <laughs> Omaha. Yeah, we'll see this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be scared. Knock on wood. Knock on yeah, wood. Knock on wood. Yep. <laughs> what about? Uh, yeah, I mean, you mentioned the pod. Like, what was the day to day like? <clears throat> I mean, was it three, four weeks with the boys in a hotel to start the year? Like, you know, how did you guys survive that? and dominate yeah really. I, I mean i mean it was a lot of uh obviously a lot of downtime um school you had to get done i think you know a right. lot of the boys worried about school and um but yeah we had we had a pool table downstairs in the lobby i think we spent a lot of time there a uh, the foosball table we had bags we put we played a bags tournament so a little bit of xbox you know probably yeah yeah a lot of, a lot of <laughs> xbox too honestly we played um, a lot of um nhl fortnite madden and yeah, it's just cool. to keep us occupied. Um, obviously, I think um, just to be with them though for those three or four months, like I said, the chemistry got built yeah. for those three or four weeks, and you know I think it's uh, helped us. Um, you know later in the season, but you know obviously it was definitely a different experience. But you know I thought all the boys did a good job of you know taking it all in and enjoying it. So I mean Barry can only show you so much film before it just like <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's only only so much uh, film you can watch. So. <laughs> right yeah but i mean now you guys are finally back playing games at the ralph uh, i mean limit they're letting fans in i believe but like at a limited capacity you know what's that change been like for you from going to sold out you know ten thousand fan uh venues now to uh what it is this season honestly compared to the bubble i think um i think it's been awesome just to have uh you know a little bit of fans i think um mm-hmm. our fans sure. are very passionate and you know the fans that are allowed to come into our rank, I think they do a great job of supporting us. And, you know, I'm just grateful to have, you know, supporters that, you know, are so loud, you know, they're doing the best they can, but um, it's been good. We've been enjoying it. Hopefully by the end of the year, near the NCHC playoffs, we maybe get a couple more thousand in, in the Ralph, but you know, that, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, huge. that's a wait and see I kind think, of thing. I think that's, but, We'll see. It's been good, though. I've been enjoying it. All the boys have been, too. So, 100%. That's a huge advantage for you guys, and especially right now. Not only are you at school, but now you're back at school doing school. I mean, online, but you're back at school. But you get your own locker room and stuff, too. You're in your own building. Like That's got to be an advantage for you right now. And then 
obviously yeah. the NCHC playoffs too. That's going to be huge for you guys. What's your, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think um, once we heard that news, obviously we were really happy. Um, like you said, just being comfortable going to the rink every day, knowing that you're, you're at your home rink, you go through your routines and, you know, get, getting to live at your own place, you know, it, it's, it's awesome. We're, we're very thankful, yeah. but I thought, you know, we put in the time in Omaha, we spent that month there, so, <laughs> you know, Pay your we, dues. we're just lucky enough to get it at the Ralph. So we're excited for it. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you've seen it, but last year, um, you guys play Michigan tech, but we came and shot a game day experience video at, at your rank in school. And, um, I remember just walking in the locker room there and that was our first ever video we did for our YouTube and everything, but just, I felt yeah. like I was walking into heaven, like yeah. in the hockey hall <laughs> yeah. of fame is your locker room. NHL, I'm not kidding. Yeah, like yeah. I had goosebumps the second we entered the building to the end of the game. Like it was just nuts. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, if you're a hockey player fan, I mm-hmm. think, um, you know, it's just hockey heaven. Honestly, they just, everyone here they love hockey and it kind of shows with the facilities we get and yeah. i'm very grateful for it and i know all the boys all the boys are too so. i mean let's let's look back to your high school self you know when you know you're touring schools and stuff and talking to schools i mean how do you say no to north dakota you see that room and it just end the rank <laughs> and it's over or any youtube video right, right that. yeah when i was touring different schools um i knew once i came here i was watching some videos like through these doors that they do here and yeah I was I was watching it. I was pretty pumped to come to a game. Um, and I came for Thanksgiving. Okay. I think it was our seniors' freshman year. So okay. Kawaguchi and Kiers and all of them that was their freshman year. And it was Thanksgiving break, and we'd even have uh, students there. Mm-hmm. And it still was like sold out, and it was buzzing. And I'm like, there's literally no way I could say no <laughs> to this place, especially if you love hockey and you just want to be a hockey player. Um, you know, I just thought it fit it fitted me so well, and you know, I don't think. Uh, it's just tough to say no, like you said. It's impossible. Absolutely. Was yeah. there any close seconds as far as other schools? Um, yeah, uh, I think my second options were either Penn State or UMass. Uh, Amherst, Ooh. I think those two. I mean, we've had so many UMass two. guys. I'm glad you didn't go to UMass. My God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I'm happy with where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, it's all working out. I mean, like, and since you got there, I think you guys have only lost like one or two games at home. I mean. The last loss was to Omaha, I think, like last year. That's um, insane. <laughs> so. Yeah, just absolutely dominant. I think what four and zero this year, and we. Yeah. I think the last game that you did lose against Omaha, you happened to possibly get kicked out of. You know, should possibly. We, should we touch on oh, that? No, yeah, I definitely did. I tried to. Yeah, that wasn't the best thing I've done. I, I tried to cross check a bate in the back, but it hit his neck. Yeah, uh, yeah, it happens. It yeah. happens. But yeah, I do. I do remember that. That was a tough loss. But to be, uh, I don't know how many games we won. We, I know we won over like twenty the past two years here right. at, at the Ralph. So I can't really complain. I got. I got to ask though, was that not the scariest moment of your life? Knowing Barry's coming in the locker room after the game. <laughs> I mean, you got. To, I was like, is that the scary? I'm shitting my pants. Yeah. About it, I think so. Uh, yeah, I, I knew. I knew he was gonna talk to me after. But, <laughs> You're just yeah. waiting in your stall like, as a freshman, yeah. just a coward dog. Yeah, but he, he, yeah, he's awesome. He uh, he he did a good job. He was just like, you just got to be calm out there and control your emotions. Um, you know, I learned a lot from that, and you know, I matured a bit from that too. Yeah, so. I mean, checking out your EP, I think you made up for it. So yeah, I mean, only yeah. two penalty minutes so far this season. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But just we buckle that yeah. down a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it all worked out. But my God, that yeah. and I heard Buddy had it coming. We'll see yeah, that. He had it coming. Yeah. We're on yeah, your side yeah. here. I'm not gonna comment. Yeah. <laughs> smart. That's smart. Yeah, but uh, I mean, four straight games, I believe, against Omaha coming up here, Mm -hmm. chance to secure the Penrose Cup. You know, what's the the feeling, you know, at practice right now in the locker room with the guys just, you know, buzzing? I mean, Omaha is really good this year. We have been number seven in our rankings currently. You know, how are you feeling coming into four straight, two at home, and then you go to Omaha and then one back at Ralph again? So, you know, just talk about that series. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's the best time of the year. Obviously, playoffs are coming up, and I think all the boys are – you know, last year we got it stripped away from us. Um, I just think it's a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement. Um, but to play Omaha these next four games, obviously they're a very good team and it's going to be a battle. I mean, I think we all know that. And For sure. I'm excited. I mean, you know, I, I like playing good hockey and it's just going to be a good four games and maybe we'll see them in the playoffs. But we just got to worry about, you know, tomorrow, game by game, we're just going to worry about. So. Right. I mean, is it possible that you guys secure two automatic bids? If you keep winning like this, I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying, I mean, you guys are hosting the frozen face off. You guys don't lose at home, and then currently number one in the nation. I mean, it's just, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it seems yeah. like it's meant to be. But I'll, I'll stop talking. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> threw me off. I was like, oh, I'll knock it on wood here. Yeah, you go. You go. <laughs> no, no. I mean, yeah. No, you guys are having an unreal year. You know, what's what is your goal personally, though, as, as a player right now? You know, you're on such a good team with so many talented players, but obviously you're a draft pick of the Ottawa Senators, so congrats on that, by the way. But what's your, you know, personal goals for this season? Good question. Um, I, I mean, I, I think the biggest thing, I know it's always um team-related, I mean, mm-hmm. but but for me, I just want to win a national championship so Hell yeah, much. man. <laughs> you know, I mean, especially for our seniors. Yeah. Um, you know, they put, right. you know, blood, sweat, and tears into this program for four years. And, you know, I think they deserve it, you know, and I, I know we deserve it, um, each and every one of us. So, you know, that that's the main goal right now. I, I don't think I'm thinking about anything else. Okay, um, that's fair. I you like know, that. whatever awards come after that, it would be great. But, you know, if we don't get that, you know, the end goal, it, it won't matter. So I, I'm just hoping for that one. Especially for those seniors, you know. I, you know, would yeah. assume you guys are going to be in the, that, at least that Frozen Four last year and to have that taken away from them, the juniors right. last year. Yeah. But now, yeah, they deserve That's, that for yeah, sure. I can't and, even imagine. Yeah, I mean. Was, was there ever any discussions? You know, there's a lot of, you know, NHL talent on that team. As you mentioned, the Caesar, seniors all coming back. You know, was there ever any thoughts from you and the boys just like, you know, getting everybody together for just one last run, two last two final runs here like were you ever thinking about hopping in the nhl or uh you know? um no i knew i was gonna especially after the way the year ended last year i knew for sure i was coming back yeah there was okay. no way i was and you could like kawaguchi obviously and kirsten could have signed right away but yeah you know this place is just so special and we just want to bring you know more history to this place so i think um i think we all had the same you know thought coming into yeah, I mean, I, I saw sure, your so. I saw your uh, team's Instagram video of everyone saying I'm coming back and during COVID. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that was yeah great. I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> ready to run through a brick wall. Oh yeah, I was like, oh no, the rest it's of the like, nation's just like <laughs> just deleting Instagram right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I went to I went to UMD, so I was just like <laughs> watching that. Just ah, oh, great. Well, They're I back. Mean, yeah. I guess a huge part of this pod, not just kidding, but like we need to get Kawaguchi to Minnesota. We're huge wild fans here. We haven't had a and no wins over here. But what yeah. do we got to do to get you to get Kyle Gucci to sign there? I mean, my God. <laughs> That'd be big boys. time for the Wild. They need that. We need, <laughs> need a goal scorer, punch. man. We need everything. Let's be honest. A oh, yeah. little bit of everything. A little Gucci, man, in Minnesota. God, we yeah. need it. I don't know what That's we got to do, but say something. Just keep feeding him the puck. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> keep bearing his passes, but yeah. Yeah, what about, uh, I mean, Hobie run coming up right now. Obviously, you, Kyle Gucci, Kierstad on that ticket. Yeah. Do you guys just, you know root for each other or are you just giving each other shit like you know it's gonna be me it's gonna be- <laughs> no i know i i, I don't, not, none of us talk about it like i said yeah, okay. i think north dakota is just such a team culture absolutely um, for sure you know i think that's why i think we're so successful i think everyone puts their personal agenda aside and just does it for the team so maybe mm-hmm. at the end of the year we'll joke about it but yeah. right now we're just locked in on winning games Hey, that's fair. That's just a such professional a professional answer. Kirsten Kyle yeah, Gucci, yeah. though. I mean, so many leaders. Like, how I mean, does I mean, yeah. I, as Gucci wearing the seat, just like I don't even have to say anything. Like, I mean, they got Weatherby really on the third line. I mean, for, <laughs> yeah, for Christ's sake, it's just yeah, not I fair. Yeah, our team is just yeah. It's just I think we just have a perfect mix of young and mm-hmm. you know veteran guys. So I mean, we talked about awesome. we talked about Barry earlier, but uh, you know what's it like having that that whole coaching staff there and on top of the facilities and everything that you got? But just talk about the coaching staff and how they've helped you develop as a player. Yeah, I think that was probably my uh, main reason why I came here. Obviously, you know, the the rank is awesome. And, you know, you hear things about TJ Oshie and all those yeah. guys. But at the end of the day, if you don't have a good relationship with the coaches, then, you know, you're probably not going to go to that spot. And I knew right away they were just good people and, you know, they care about their players. And, you know, they've just established such a good culture here of getting better and, you know, caring about the guy next to you. And, you know, I can't say good uh, – enough good things about those guys and mm-hmm. um, you know i'm honored to play for them and you know the relationship i have with those guys is you know second to none so i'm very grateful for it yeah, absolutely i remember i yeah. saw barry at a high school game just sitting by himself watching like you know head coaches and all these guys scouting all the time but he's just yeah. sitting there watching i mean like, he, this guy's just a legend he's a presence <laughs> he's yeah. a presence the reason everyone knew he's a barry. Presence. exactly yeah, sure. the reason why no one's getting close to him like yeah. let, let the man work <laughs> <laughs> knows what he's doing yeah. my god should we uh, yeah, hop into fan sure. questions since we have like yeah. 30 of them? Yeah, or it's do all we... you for fan questions. I don't have them in front of me. But... I mean, we do have a lot. I guess we should start with the first one from uh, former teammate Zach Jones. Uh, I think you know what's coming. How you know how is the, the TV12 <laughs> diet been from Zach? I, what's going on with that? 
Uh, yeah, that's probably, that's a joke, obviously. I think uh, I'm definitely not a TV 12 night anymore. Me and, uh, me and Jonesy and oh. Ruben, Ruben Rafkin <laughs> used to, um, we all used to build together in Tri-City and we had our built mom. I was reading the Tom Brady book and we tried it for a couple of weeks, the TV 12 diet, but it was just too plain and too boring. So, yeah, that's kind um, of so TV's ever since I good. got out of college, though, I, I don't, I haven't, I haven't done that. So <laughs> it's not good anymore, Jonesy. I, I, that's done. Okay, fair. Yeah, I, I was hoping those, you know, still being carried on. But all right, what about? Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, what's it like being traded mid? You know, we're go, going to the U show here. What's what's it like being traded though mid season to Tri City and like that whole experience? I guess for people that even don't know, like you can be traded any time in juniors and yeah, you even when you're leading the team in points. Yeah, that's the weirdest part. But what was that experience <laughs> yeah. like for you, man? Yeah, that was weird. I think, um, you know, I was 18 years old. I was, you know, just trying to enjoy my first year of junior <laughs> hockey. But I don't know, it was just a weird kind of ordeal that happened. I had to move, you know, obviously cities and mm -hmm. get a new billet family. So there's a lot of, you know, background things that maybe not many people kind of knew about. And Well, especially as an 18 year old kid, too. That's a young move. Like, yeah. it's hard yeah. enough being in juniors by yeah. yourself for the first time. So then you get just, dished. It was just weird. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what is it? But I mean, I, I think. I just was put into a great place with Anthony Noreen and Tri City, and yeah. you know, I jo Jonesy there, Ronnie Adder. You know, I knew a lot of guys there, so I think uh, they just did a great job of welcoming me, and you know, I really enjoyed playing there as well. Yeah, sounds like the fellows really, you know, rallied after that, and uh, obviously, yeah. I think uh, Tri City's sure. happy that happened. And I went through hell to get this thing. I mean, I almost got my car jumped and me jumped like in North Minneapolis for this jersey. I'm not kidding you, man. Yeah. I went to like 10:30 last. It's a good night. thing it's it's still it looks nice. It looks great. It's a yeah, it looks good. The Parisi, the, the black. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh yeah, can't beat it. That's one thing I want to ask. That just reminded me. What's your favorite jerseys at North Dakota? Well, I mean, obviously, I like our away ones. I like our green ones for some reason. I don't know why. Those are sick. But obviously, the black ones. That yeah. Whenever we. Dude. You know, wear the blacks. It's just go time. I can't imagine, <laughs> like, just being an opposing team. Totally wear those. Yeah, you're yeah, opposing team. You're on the other side of the blue line. You see the whole t North Dakota in black, and you look around. Like, it's just loud as hell. Like, yeah. yeah. what are you going to do? They're I mean, showing up yeah. for a funeral. Somebody's going to die. You know? <laughs> what did Sofo <laughs> say last <laughs> when we had him on about North Dakota? He lined up for them once. I forgot what he said. Oh, I think he's just like, oh, we're going to lose. Oh, yeah. As as he <laughs> he's walked like, we're in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. But I'm glad that he admitted it right out in front. That was a great pod, too. Yeah, man. I just, it's chills every time I've been in that building. Yeah. 100%. I, work, I worked for Bemidji State and was on, I was on the bench. I was a student manager, but like just chill. I wasn't even playing and I had chills. It's just yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. it's so loud. You guys scored on us with like three minutes in. It was on opening night and the fireworks went off and I just couldn't move. Like I was, just, I was stunned. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. I mean, I think for the other team though, I think it gets you fired up. I think everyone's excited when they get to come play here. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, it's immediate you know? like, oh, yeah, we're going to get, sure. we're going to get pumped, but okay, now I'm going. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is the biggest game yeah, of my exactly. life. Okay, it's time to wake up. <laughs> the adrenaline's definitely flowing. And yeah, were you, uh, I mean, like you obviously toured, um, you know, highly touted prospect, but like your first game at Ralph, you know, where the goosebumps flowing there, like, you know, were you a little bit nervous heading into that one? Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Um, I mean, I think, um, you, like I said, it was 12,000 fans. So I, I mean, I took it for granted <laughs> when it happened, you know, I, I didn't realize how sick it was. Yeah. Cause now we don't, we only have 3000, which is still a ton. But, oh, well. Go play at mercy. Yeah. Hurst. I mean, don't, don't yeah it was so, it was so <laughs> surreal. Um, but yeah, I just tried my best. So <laughs> yeah, no, I had to rip Johnny fair. for a second. Yeah. Johnny's going to listen and just throw his headphones. As soon as <laughs> Johnny's the guy that helped us. He helps us out now, but uh, he played at UMass and then mercy Hurst. So yeah, right. he DM'd him. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Right. Yeah. You, yeah. How do you, how do you know Johnny oh, Lazarus? Yeah, yeah, Pump yeah, his yeah, tires. Yeah, here. Yeah. Johnny Lazarus. Yeah. Yeah. He's on our team now, but not a big deal. How how do you know him though? Um, honestly, I think we we skated in the summer before together. Okay, okay. Yeah, the Long Island guys usually skate together. Yep, yep. You know, so well, that is a question he wanted us to ask. So I guess we'll we'll fire it up. You know how his words? How cool has it been to grow up with a big group of Long Island hockey players from our <laughs> man Johnny Lazarus? I love how you read that. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah. There's definitely like that crop. I think um, obviously in the summers we all kind of get together and. You know, I, I skate with Marshall Warren, Ross Mitten, and Ducky Master Simone on BU and, mm -hmm. and Brandon Tabgan. So I think we, we just have a good thing going of just trying to get each other better in the summer. And, you know, we obviously hang out outside of, you know, the weight room and skating. And yeah. It's awesome, honestly. Just, you know, they go through the same experiences that I do. And, you know, it's just good to have them, uh, you know, 
it's exciting whenever I get to go back home and work out with them and, uh, you know, skate with them. So it's cool. For sure. We, we did, we should touch on, we saw that, uh, you're a Mets fan instead of a Yankees fan. Like, uh, can we just ask why <laughs> on that one? What? No, so I, I'm not, I'm, I'm neither. You're oh, neither for you. James, you told me Mets. I saw him at the Mets game. I don't know. I just oh, from New York. Shit. I saw him at a Mets stadium. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a Philly fan. Philly, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Harper. Oh, yeah. Left field. Yeah. I'm a like left field. <laughs> okay. What about? No, that, that, that was when I was uh, eight years old though. And they were good. And they had Ryan Howard. And Chase uh, that's and fair. Good, so. The glory days. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about yeah. like, are you a Jets fan or a Giants fan then? Jets. Still. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk about that. I mean, we're the Vikings. We're not any better. We <laughs> yeah, can't talk, man. That's true. Yeah. Oh, I get I get into it with the guys here about how the Vikings are much better. You guys are yeah. just in the middle of the pack. At least we're getting good draft picks. Yeah, we're yeah. getting you nothing. Yeah, no, we don't do that. <laughs> so bad that we at least get good picks. And you guys just <laughs> hey, we got like Jefferson pretty, number receiver. Pretty good, but not one. like great. And you guys are just stuck in the middle. Yeah. yeah we pay Kirk Cousins to just get killed <laughs> every <laughs> night. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Just <laughs> feed up the sharks. Are unbelievable, though. I'll give you guys that. But yeah. Guys just, when you, you can know? throw it, it's fun to watch, but it just, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's tough. <laughs> tough. So we feel you there, I yeah. guess. All right. We're yeah. both in pain. That's yeah. cool. Every day. <laughs> every day. Every <laughs> sport, man. It's like we mentioned. Just going through it. We might lose the Timberwolves. They're so bad. I think they're leaving. Like, yeah. yeah probably. It just, it's bad all the way. Okay. <laughs> What's what that? that? Oh, yeah. We're the last place every year. Yeah. It's never, yeah. Don't remind me on that. We might lose our draft pick. You know, okay. Let's, let's jump into something else. I'm just getting depressed here. Uh, yeah. we, sh- we should touch on... Well, I just want to get go, all the go, teammates' go, yeah, questions go, for yeah, sure. Yep. So we got uh, Jackson Keene slid into the DMs. Uh, he said, why are you so bad at Fortnite? So that's the first shot. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> why? See, the, 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 the thing is about <laughs> Jackson is he's probably the worst player on our team. Ah. Ooh. And he's just trying to... Um, yeah, so we play Fortnite you know, a good amount. And we usually just you know, fight each other. We do the creative mode where we all oh, okay. fight each other. We go one v one v one. Yeah, build off. He's okay. yeah. He's probably the worst one on our team. The guy can't build. And <laughs> well, he's just he, gone he's first. Just a bot. So just Ooh. threw him right under the bus, man. It's yeah, cool. Only thirty thousand people are gonna see this, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he he tweeted it too last week, saying. <laughs> all right. Well, then he deserved it. Two hundred people liked it. So. <laughs> good God. <laughs> So, yeah. So. All right. Well, uh, heard it here first. So he's the yeah. bot. Yeah, okay. he's the bot. Yeah. Well, he's what do we got bot. next? Exactly. Um. Let's see. Well, we got Laz is knocked off. What about? This is a good question. I think my brother wants me to ask this too. But this one from Alex Rosado. Do you still see the Gophers as rivals? You know, with the old WCHA rivalry there. Oh, you guys man, ran the Gophers last year. Yeah. It hurt to see. But uh, <laughs> we were there for shooting a video for that one too. And just like it was all North Dakota fans. You guys absolutely pumped in the first yeah. game that we shot. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think um we were supposed to play in this year actually in a non conference and they were supposed to come to the Ralph. Yeah. Um, Ooh, that would have been sick. But I think the Gophers are obviously still our rivals. I think we're always kind of watching what they're doing. Um, mm-hmm. you know, they're a good team this year. Yeah. Um, I wish we could have played them. I think it would have been a good game, but you know, you never know what the tournament's gonna end up like. So we may, yeah. we may yeah. see them there. I heard. Uh, maybe we'll see. see what happens. I heard on the radio today, though. This is kind of unfortunate for college hockey fans in general. I think you know, the, as far as regionals are gonna go, like it's gonna be Minnesota, North Dakota, St. Cloud, like those teams all playing in the same regional. So you're not gonna meet in the Frozen Four because they want the uh, regionals to be like all based right. on geographic yeah, yeah, location, yeah, which sense. sucks. It sucks though suck. because you want the best yeah, teams playing in the Frozen Four, right? So I don't yeah. know how they're going to do it, but yeah, hopefully they can mix it up a little bit, but for sure. What, yeah. what, what about uh, in your, you know, two years there, what would you say is your biggest rivalry currently? Would it be Omaha? Would it be UMD uh, in the NCHC? Um, Denver, maybe? I think Denver. I think Denver, honestly. I think whenever okay. we get get together with Denver, it's it gets chippy. pretty awesome. Yeah, man. God, <laughs> it does know, seem to get a little cheated. chippy. Every time I watch you guys, it's like, it just, yeah, my eyes are glued to the TV. I mean, normally they are, but like, especially Denver, it's, yeah. it's chippy. Yeah. The piles. Yeah, like there's a hit. ton of pe- there's a ton of penalties, and I think um, yeah, I think both th- those guys right now. But you know, these next two weeks could change with you know Omaha. Yeah. So. Okay. I like. That. I mean, you're you're in those chippy games though. I see you through that cross check. But do you chirp at all? Are you a chirper? Or no? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I I, I do chirp. Here oh, I love it. <laughs> what's what's the go to or what's your best one you've given? Are you doing research you on here? Yeah. <laughs> no, I I try to just sometimes I I try to be quiet. Um, mm-hmm. obviously I can't repeat some of the things I've said. But, <laughs> That's fair. Um, 
I try to I try to stay quiet, but I the competitiveness in me just wants to fire back at them. No, oh, yeah, you got it. Yeah, what about uh, so like versus Denver? You mentioned probably your biggest rivals, and you're going you know eighteen to nothing in faceoffs. Are you chirping the center? <laughs> you're going up against. <laughs> Like, just no. letting them know. Yeah, see, like, this like, come, I, this one's coming back to I me. I know one of the. I know one of the guys, Capone. Yeah, I, I play. I play in the World Junior A Challenge with him. Okay, and I was gonna chirp him, but obviously, <laughs> just I'm letting them slide on that. that. So. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. that's good stuff, man. Right. That's good. Eighteen to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's like when someone's controller dies on the other side and chill, and you're just winning <laughs> everything. Yeah. Like, how the hell does that happen? <laughs> That's a chirp right there. Come on, man. I, yeah, my bad. I, oh, I love it. I'm not big enough to fight somebody on Denver, so <laughs> I'll leave it there. Oh, I love a chirping. It's the best part of hockey, man. Yeah. What it's about, uh, what would you say is your favorite barn besides the Ralph? That's a fan question that you'd like to play at. From Mason Gravit, shout out there. But favorite barn to play at other than the Ralph? Mm. Um, I think last year, I think probably my favorite one was... Um, I enjoy playing at uh, Miami. Yeah. Like, I think they have Ooh. a pretty cool barn. Red actually. Hawks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it's very underrated. How many too. fans does it seat? I can't picture it. Five thousand, I think, something like that. 5, yeah, it's like five, but something. you know, they had a good amount of people there, and I don't know. It's just a cool little vibe they had going there. So cool. I, th- I think vibes. that was pretty. Uh, That's the first Miami cool answer. Show it to them. There we go. Yeah. People sleep. They deserve something this year. I mean, if you guys they are going to house them, like, yeah, they could do something. <laughs> you guys are going to house them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're solid. They could take down uh, Mercy Hurst, <clears throat> yeah. Johnny. No, I think I think they, they, they beat the. Del- Lewis, no? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yes, they did. Dude, yeah, I mean, I mean, every God. team in this every, yeah, team every really team's competitive. Over. We're just messing around. Like, NCHC is so talented. Yeah. Like, talk about what... It's ridiculous. For you, like, yeah, how, you know, how lucky are you to play in that that conference? Obviously, the Big Ten's right there, Hockey East, but I'd say NCHC is the top. Yeah. yeah I, um, I think it just, you know, gets you ready for that next level. I think every night you just got to bring it. If, yeah. if you do have a night off, I mean, most likely the other team won't win. I, it's yeah. just how it is. It's yeah. just how close right. it is, so... I think it prepares you. So I think I'm very happy I'm, um, in this league. Any more fan questions? I mean, there's some. I don't know if he's going to want to answer, but uh, let's see. How many DMs do you get a day from Alex Murray? Who uh, asked <laughs> <laughs> that? Alex Murray? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you know oh, that. God. No, yeah. Oh. I used to play okay. with. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm not answering that. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> no comment, Alex. What about. I mean, there's a lot of food questions. I wonder if this is just New York related, but we got. Red pepper or Deeks? I don't know. Oh, um, yeah. red pepper. It's um, red it's pepper. Our famous, yeah, it's all day sandwich shop here. Okay, Actually, red okay. pepper. Love that. Flats or drumsticks? We'll just knock out both food questions. <laughs> flats. I'm a big flat flats. guy. I love Me flats. too. A drumsticks a little messy, but mm-hmm. I mean, you just go all in on flats. <laughs> yeah, flats. No you just take the whole. You know. Yeah, yeah it's a smooth, it's, fluid it's motion. Good. You know, that's what I. Think. Yeah. All yeah, day. For sure. What about, uh, uh, I mean, do you want to keep ripping? There's probably... Just keep going. You're on a roll. Okay. What do you think is your biggest strength from mm. Owen Landry? So, well, that's biggest the person. Strength. Biggest strength is a question. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like um, I think I, I do a good job of anticipating things on the ice. So probably, I think my hockey IQ is probably my best asset. Okay. So. That's fair. Not face-offs. Not... <laughs> No, I feel like I, I, well, that I, is I can get better in that area. I think some things can get cleaned up, honestly. Wow. I'm pretty sure you're yeah. leading the NCAA in face-off percentage currently, so that's that's scary. Yeah. There's okay. stuff to improve on. <laughs> should we, should Always. We, should we tie these into the speed round? Like, it should just be the speed round. We're yeah, this can be speed quick. round. Yeah, We're yeah. just kind of ripping. You can just add in the edits later, but... Um, okay. Yeah, so yeah. we do like to watch, like ask like team questions as well. <laughs> so, fans, you okay. had your moment. Let's go on. Uh, worst, worst playlist on the team. Who's got the worst music that you can't Ooh. stand in the locker room? Yeah. Worst music on the team. Yeah. <laughs> so aggressive. Yeah, well. That's such a tough question to answer. Yeah, you're getting ripped <laughs> no matter what. I mean, I'm setting you up for failure here, but. You could just say yeah. Jackson Keen, get back at him. Um, just keep ripping. I don't know. I don't know. I, all I know is JVD listens to Kesha before games. Oh, Ooh, my so, gosh. That yeah. is. So that's, that's yeah. tough, but I'm not going to. You heard it here, folks. I, I mean, he's not saying, I, he's I, just I, saying. I'm mm. not saying it's like what he listens to all the time, but I heard. You know, his freshman year, he used to listen to that. So, oh boy, mm. I don't right, know what that's right about. under the bus. That's good. Okay, what about? I'm curious now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about coming to the rink? Who's got the best guy? Oh, Jackson Keen. Jackson. I hate to say, Ooh, it, but hate to say he's got some good style on him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and he makes up for that lack of lack of building. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about? Yeah, yeah. His lack of Fortnite skills, he makes up in the in his dress game. <laughs> what about? Uh, 
uh, karaoke. Who's, who's got the best voice on the team? He's saying dance moves too. Like who's who's just got the best talent? As Gets far the as boys that. going. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's, he's the best at it, but probably the funniest is Ethan Fresh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. we have we have like this little karaoke machine. We we bring out hangouts. And, okay. And especially in the beginning of the year, he uh, he's just uh, he's funny when he gets he gets up there. You can set the tone. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> when you break out the karaoke machine, though, Ooh. what's what's your go-to song like to to bring the house down, get the boys, you know, just juiced? Um. <laughs> Honestly, one of Kesha's song is really good to get the boys going. <laughs> TikTok, I think it's TikTok. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a good song. It, I, yeah. it does buzz. Like I don't know if I would do it before a song. game per se, but yeah, yeah. just to just to get yeah. them jacked up. I mean, why not? <laughs> exactly. What about I saw? So I'm a big block shots guy. You're at 11 recorded on the North Dakota website. Do we got over under 20 blocks for the season? It's huge. Actually, can, can we hit that 20 blocks mark? I I think I think it's gonna have to be 20, okay. especially. This is crunch time, so you gotta yeah. sacrifice oh, to the body. That. Yep. So yeah. I think hopefully you, I hit the over. Yeah, you got stripped last season. You were, I think, you were at eleven on the nose uh, mm-hmm. before playoffs, which obviously it was just gonna, you know, start stacking up. So that yeah. playoff run, yeah. you guys had a lot of games. Playoff up. time, playoff time is when you really dial it in. Yeah, you get like four area. a game. Yeah, you're you're just. <laughs> <them. Left laughs> <and right>. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent for sure. Okay, over twenty, mash that. Yeah, because I mean, North Dakota's making a run this year, and like in the Frozen Four alone, I'd, I'd expect twenty. I would think yeah. so. Absolutely. I love that. <laughs> Especially, I mean, you're diving head first at pucks. Yeah. Especially if you play yeah. the Bulldogs, you're going to have to. <laughs> okay. Well, <I'm> yeah. <laughs> I'll stop there. Yeah. I mean, does that drive you guys at all? I mean, a co- team in your conference won back-to-back titles. How, how bad do you want to beat those guys right now? Yeah. I think, um, you know, I think they're obviously a good team. Though. Every, right. I mean, every uh, every year they always, you know, yeah, yeah. a good team. They're never going to be a, they're never going to be an easy out. Um, so, I don't know. It's going to be a good matchup. But obviously, we want to beat them. Um, mm-hmm. but, you know, they're a solid team, so we'll see what happens. I could like that. Uh, we did have one question from our guy Dan. He said that uh, your dog Urko is a is a big hit. Can we can we touch on that quick? Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. So like I was saying, it, it was my dog Jackson's dog, Harrison okay. Feeney's dog, and just for some reason, we brought him home. Obviously, my mom wanted me to bring mine home, and you know, the other families wanted to bring theirs home, and. We just decided to put it um, behind our bench. It, you'll see it at the Ralph if you, if you ever see it behind our bench. It's our four dogs, and it's been our good luck charm. So, <laughs> I love it, man. Hopefully it keeps going. Uh, a... I'm happy I get to see him every game. I, I just when, I, when I'm taking a sip of water, I always give him a quick look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, mean, not, yeah. <laughs> the wolf pack behind you. I mean, what is yeah. it? UND surprise, you just put your dog there, though. You know what I'm saying? Just like. Yeah, actual- Urko's just chilling front row. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That'd he's just sick. chilling front row at the Ralph. So <laughs> he should. Bad. He deserves it. I mean, maybe for the frozen face off, they'll step up to the plate. Just bring the dogs yeah. with. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I mean that's free marketing. Yeah, that is true. Who doesn't want to see a dog? No, especially their yeah. dog. Yeah, exactly. Oh I'd kill for that. Exactly. What about uh, you know pregame routines? Besides Ooh, yeah. thinking about Urko, are you superstitious at all? Uh, what do you do to get ready? Mm. Um, no, I'm actually I, I'm not that superstitious. I think. You know, I have the same routine of where I, uh, um, I never take my stick before game. I always have it done already um, in the morning. Okay. I do a morning of games. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I drink my smoothie that our trainer makes us. I eat a peanut butter and jelly. And, and then we do our PK meeting. Yep. And then we go in into the room and we play a sewer ball, you know, the soccer game. And then oh, just yeah. get the body warm and then ready to go i think i keep it pretty simple i just try not to overthink anything and just play that's fair if, yeah. you, if you had to pick one guy on the team to tape your stick before a game who would it be though Ooh, someone the cleanest tj yeah like well or he could just mess with you like who would it be you gotta be careful who you pick i mean <laughs> just i think ca colin adams he does a good job taping his sticks so I'll, I'll probably pick him okay okay fair enough yeah what about uh do you, have, do you have any jokesters on the team anyone who's messing with people's stuff Ooh. Uh, Miss Mash likes it. to mess around a lot. Miss Mash, okay. okay. <laughs> um, He's an Edina kid. She, you can just go mess his stuff yeah, up. Yeah, Adam Sheel, our goalie, obviously <laughs> likes to... Oh, yeah. It's always the goalie. He likes, to, he likes to fool around. I think all guys have a pretty good sense of humor on our team. Um, but yeah. those two probably stick out the most. Okay. Let's, let's talk about the draft on that whole process, you know. Was that always something? At what age were you like, man, I'm, I'm going to the NHL? Like, you had a good th- thought, at least before, that you're going to get drafted, let's say. Um, and then, and then talk about the process itself too, once you did get drafted and hear your name called. Yeah, I think, um, 
I think growing up, obviously, I wasn't really much of a hockey guy growing up. I was always mm. kind of worried about baseball, football. Okay. But, mm. you know, once I hit 15, I kind of took it more seriously. And I was just playing to play college hockey one day. I wasn't really trying to, you know, play in the NHL. Obviously, you want to, but that's wasn't really my goal. And then, yeah. you know, once I got into the USHO and I was having a pretty good year, you know, people were, you know, my, my advisor was telling me, like, you know, there's a chance. And then. You know, it ended off really strong, and obviously the draft came, and it just all went by so fast, like a oh, blink of an eye. I mean, that sounds like pretty you know, late, like 15 years old. Like, oh, I'm just gonna yeah go this route now. I guess I'll focus on it <laughs> and just go. The yeah, no, off. it was just, it was just so weird because I went to prep school, and I was just like, I went to a South Ken, and it was mm. it was a very good school, and I was, I would just realize, okay, I'll take this seriously now, and you know, yeah, it was just it just all just it's all been such a fast journey and i'm just taking it day by day and trying to enjoy it but yeah i mean the 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 draft was obviously awesome just to you know spend that time with my family and you know get that with them i think that was the biggest thing i took away from that just sharing that moment with them so yeah i mean i mean being drafted by the sens too obviously they haven't been the best in the past couple years but like now they got all these draft picks lined up how excited are you to get to that next level with those guys well a lot of already they already i mean they already have talent young talent on that team but just keep adding more you know how excited are you to get to that point i think it's awesome honestly you know it's it's uh it's perfect for me you know they have you know they want they want their young guys to play and contribute so hopefully i could be part of that one day but yeah, I think it's awesome. Obviously, having Sanderson, you know, GBD and mm-hmm. Clevin drafted just to share that experience with them and go through the, you know, college experience and, right. you know, hopefully that next level with them, I think it's pretty neat. And um, like I said, we're just worried about here right now. Absolutely. Um, yeah, 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 for sure. Once 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 the season's over, um, you know, we'll, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. whenever that time comes, we'll think about that. But, but it's, it's know, grind right time now, right it's now, baby. Like, what, eight more weeks till the natty or something like that. So it's. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this season's flown by. Nah, I know, same. man. But we're having fun and we we enjoy watching you guys. That's for damn sure. So <laughs> yeah, especially yeah, hopefully we'll keep it going. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean ECH bump. Remember that. It's <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, thing we'll, now. We man, we watch the players we have on very carefully after we have them on. Like ah, we need this guy to bury. <laughs> yeah. I think since yeah, we'll tr- I'll try my best. Just even getting a team win, like that's what I really want. Exactly. I don't want, yeah. yeah. Team. I mean that's we, that, that's huge. Yeah. That? If we sweep, then that's that's the bump right there. There, the absolutely, well. absolutely. It's definitely not you know playing at home, Ralph Engelstad, and having a really effing good team. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's the bump. Uh, it's yeah. the bump. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. this will get us that one. <laughs> Absolute bump. All right. Uh, I guess one final question that we always wrap up with. Oh yeah, this is big. You know, for big question. This yeah. one's sponsored by. Uh, we'll just. What, what do we got? Nothing. Just yeah. just let the, let it ask okay. him the question. Yeah. So we don't have sponsors yet, but you know they could slide in the DMs. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Slide in the DMs. There we go. See, plugged us. But uh, for you know our fans out there, just young aspiring players, they're in juniors, they're trying to make their way to college hockey. You know, what would you say for advice to you know get them to have the kind of success that you've had? Um, I think the number one thing is, um, I think it's just believing in yourself. Um, I know it kind of sounds cliche, but um, if you don't have confidence in yourself, then, you know, I don't think you right. have much of a chance, I think. Right. That's the you biggest know, thing. You know, you, you got to believe in yourself and you got to believe that you can play at that next level and just keep getting better every day. I think, you know, if you can get better a little bit each day, then it, it adds up in the end and, you know, get you uh, where you want to go. So that's I probably my that. best advice. Hell yeah. Perfectly said. Yeah. Believe in yourself, work hard, and then, uh, you know, just win 18 straight face-offs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes. I just love that stat. I got to bring it up. Oh my god. Oh man. No man. We yeah. uh we thank you for coming on. I mean, obviously you're in the Hobie race too. We hope you you end well there and at least be a finalist there. You know who knows, but you know yeah. we want to see North Dakota in the Frozen Four and yeah, maybe yeah, we'll man. make the trip down for the Frozen Face Off and then the, even the tournament after. Yeah, we're trying okay. to figure out that those rules and whatnot. And obviously we can't get too close yeah. to players as media and stuff, but we want to be at least at the Frozen Face Off and. I think we are going yeah. to Frozen Four, sure, but yeah, I don't know how the regionals are going to work in conference playoffs. But yeah, we'll try to be around. Yeah, you. Hope, sorry, sorry yeah, you hopefully go. everything opens up a bit. You know, yeah, man. We'll yeah. Say. yeah. I mean, as long as we're we're nearby, you'll be getting the bump. So just remember that. Exactly. That's one, all we need. <laughs> one one last thing before we let you go here. Do you have any advice for ECH? You know, you're number one in the country, but we're not there yet. I mean, what's your <laughs> advice for ECH? I guess as far as the fan page no. and all that stuff. Yeah, I think you, I think you guys are doing a really good job, honestly. Thank you. Um, 
Appreciate you know, it. You guys are posting a lot, which is a big deal, putting out content. Yeah. So just grow the game. Just keep going. doing that. I think that's the biggest thing of growing social media. I think just keep on putting out that content and yeah. people will keep on following. So oh, no, man. We, you guys are doing awesome. We appreciate Perfect. the follow and, you. you know, all the North Dakota boys, you guys really, that pumped us up in the beginning and they've, the team yeah. and everyone's done a good job of helping us out. But I think it's definitely cool to ask the players that we have on or just DM and stuff like, hey, what should we be posting? Let's, yeah, well, let's make this better? game yeah. big. You know, it's it's definitely went down since Nodak was in the WCHA as far as rivalries and stuff. So trying to get it back there. But well, now yeah. the NCHC yeah. is basically. it's it's Yeah, it's huge again. It's huge again. But we're just yeah. want to get college hockey to keep growing. I mean, it's it's amazing. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's awesome what you guys are doing. So Cool, man. We appreciate it. Yeah. Well. Thank, thanks for coming on today, Shane. I mean, this, this is sick. I'm like actually excited to edit this tonight. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, we'll be out rooting for you, count, counting the block shots tomorrow as, as well as <laughs> you know, everything else. So, yeah. you know, thank you. Awesome, boys. I appreciate uh, you guys having me. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah, sounds, uh, good, sounds good. Take it easy. All right. And there's future Hopi candidate finalist Shane Pinto on the show today. I mean, what a guy. One of the nicer guys we've had on. Kind of reminds me of uh, Crookshank, just a... Um, not big nose, oh, but yeah. the other Crookshank at UNH, like <laughs> just a yeah. just a great guy. You also, know, on and off the ice, has some grit to him. He's got tossed. Um, he's only yeah. been there for a couple of years. He's got, got tossed twice last year. You know, yeah, and not that's, a big deal. That's that's hard to do. Not everyone can say that. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say on top of that? You know, he's got thirty goals so far as a sophomore. Like in general, he had Oof. sixteen last year and fourteen this year. He had twenty-eight points last year. He's got twenty-six points this year. He's going to surpass what he had last year as a freshman. Easily. 28 points as a freshman at Nodak. He's already surpassing his block shots, too. Let's yeah, and that's that huge. And he and he's, you know, this guy cares about him. You can tell. He's yeah. like, yeah, I'm getting 20 just in the That's what the Sens want to see. They want to yeah. see that. The face-offs are Man, the Sens need that, too, man. Just and every part of his game. Like, he hasn't even been focusing on it until he turned 15. All the, yeah. I mean, all the, all the Sens prospects coming up right now, they're just insane. And to go along with yeah. the, the Chuck and all those guys, man, the... They're going to be good. Pinto's going to be a huge addition to that team, and they know it, and they're just, yeah, they're licking their chops right now watching Nodex games. Yeah, I'm just hoping that, you know, selfishly, that the Sens don't re-sign a second contract, comes to the Wild. If they, us. if they, yeah, that too, but if they sign yeah. Gucci, can you imagine Gucci's like, I'm just going to go play with Pinto. Like, I, we, yeah. <sighs> don't, don't, don't give him any ideas. He's yeah, coming to the I Wild. Know, I know, I know he's coming. Yep. He's going to join the fellas. All right? Yeah. Gonna I mean, be, it's going to be great. The gift baskets I'm sending to Gucci after this. I mean, just start <laughs> getting them here. Bill, Billy G is going to thank me later. Dude, just think about Penn State here in this this podcast. Oh, just just how that, close especially the end. Yeah, let's just let's like mark it so Penn State knows not to watch that last minute. Yeah, like, we, should, we should probably slide in their DMs. Even though they don't answer us, we should probably just be like, uh, yeah. maybe set this one out. Maybe, maybe set this one out. Because I heard, I heard UMass, the New Mass is a big school. I was like, okay, yeah, I could see that. But yeah. Penn State, I was like, oh, wow, they were that close. I mean, they're, they're fan base. The, the, the no, war zone's huge. For but, sure. It would be a sick place to play on that team but it's just not something i expected so i was just like ah nittany lions just they're just hurting after kicking that. rocks right now yeah <laughs> so i mean what a, what interview totally yeah. a humble guy for how good he is my lord and he's only getting better like, i mean we didn't have him physically in the room but virtually in the room but the the, the, the talent we've had in this room this week with oof. joey sofo coming in last night for a little video that we are releasing mm. soon but just yeah, yeah not to take away from pinto tonight but my so gosh much man ech is definitely rolling the right way and and the guys like this coming on our podcast really and and, and representing us the number one school in the nation right now and right. usually every year but i mean Before, that's, that's huge, huge for matchup. us and growing the, the game of college hockey so big day on instagram yeah. big day with the podcast big day in tiktok coming up on youtube i mean it's all rolling and we're getting to the frozen four time here so yeah the game's growing and so is the page i mean just posting that main rig today got me <clears> up. yeah what is that it's almost oh at 3k God. right now like the Alphon getting that little tune up, which mm-hmm. it didn't even need. Like, no, it good didn't need Lord. it. Yeah, I mean it did because it's so old that it's barely holding together. And the yeah. place gets so loud, it's just shaking, like it's barely standing up. But, but now, I mean, it looked, now now it looks it's like a be, spaceship or something. It's gonna be tough to say no to that rank with that fan base. And the, they kept right. the roof, which is the best part, which makes the noise the noise so loud there, and the fans yep. sit on top of you still. I mean, it's that I, I can't wait to shoot a video there one day. Like, like I'm just yeah. I'm already I'm just thinking out loud. We need to get Pat Shea to walk in the yeah. lake with us and just. Sit I mean, Miles could use an iPhone three when we go there, and it's gonna look just beautiful still. <laughs> right. I mean, so that was just electric. I mean, college hockey's ramping up here, like you said. Yeah. We're getting to playoffs times. But let's just touch on uh, the top ten this week. It mm-hmm. might have moved around a little bit. Yeah. So it, something might have happened. Uh, maybe UMD got swept by Western Michigan. It happens, man. NCHC. <sighs> it's a tough conference. Yeah, Buster. The Broncos showed up in a, in a big way, and uh, I yeah, mean, they just did. they just mm-hmm. shut it down. I mean, eight to one. It, both get so four to one four nothing mm-hmm. it hurt 
It yeah, stung no, UMD's at I number think, 11 I now. I think a huge weekend, and that just makes it for us, you know, as fans, definitely uh, more in tune once the playoffs do roll around. Like, damn, this NCHC frozen face house going to be just Anybody can tight. win. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. If, if Ludwig, you know, goes off like he like he did in the pod, like, they can mm -hmm. win, too. Like, yeah, Miami's exactly. right there. Crookshank's healthy. CC is scary. Yeah. Like, and they're an underrated it's team. It's not obviously. like the state tournament when like the eight seed comes in and plays Edina the first game. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. it's Edina EP every game at NCHC. As far as, you know, for our yeah. Minnesota listeners. You're not waiting yeah. for that Saturday game for an actual, you know, yeah, right, tilt. right. Yeah. So yeah, definitely just going off there. I would say Gophers moved up to number five. They swept Notre Dame. That yeah, that was, was a something. huge weekend. The, man, shout out to Laffer. He had, he stood on his head yeah, this weekend. And uh, my boy McManus got a couple of bingos. And all in all, I know Ranta, that kid looks just insane. He, he yeah. keeps putting points up every weekend. He's and, good. Yeah, <laughs> I he mean, gets he, the guy's good. The guy, Wisconsin's pissed right now that Ranta was committed there, but he didn't pass like a some kind of test he had to do there. And then, oh, yeah, I and then didn't know he, that. yeah, yeah, and then he went to the U. And <sighs> yeah, can you imagine hurt. Ranta Caulfield all the way? They would have kept Miller and Turk out. The, like that would have been the best team of all time. My brain can't handle that. No, no yeah, exactly. But I'm glad the Gophers said. got him as Gopher fans here. But we had just had on arrival um, at North Dakota in Jim Pinto, and um, again, just talking, you know, what we talked about they through swept. the podcast. Yeah, they've been a hot team this year, but then this guy just. What a story. Like, he didn't even, like, he wasn't committed, committed till 15 years old. Like, are we jumping back into the chain? <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm still like stuck <laughs> yeah. on him. Like, okay. 15 years old. Now he's in the leading score for the number one team in the nation. Yeah. Especially and running for Hobie as a sophomore on that so, team that has, you know, it just NHL blows my mind, man. Yeah. Four lines deep. Yeah. I mean, Kawaguchi, uh, let's, let's, the defending Hobie. Let's get back should into have been champion. Yeah. Let's, let's get back into the ranks. God, it just blows my mind. But all right. Yeah. So, yeah, let's for a nice transition from whatever the hell you just went to. Yeah. Yeah. You indeed did sweep. They, they swept they Denver, which they is did, yeah. a very tough sweep. I mean, like they mentioned, like that is probably their biggest rival. It got a little chippy. People are saying running tendies, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think it was clean. Let the boys play on yeah. both sides. You know, both tendies kind of caught a little something. So, uh, yeah, what a series there. Denver probably, I mean, they could still obviously win the NCHC frozen yeah. faceoff, yep. but definitely not getting an automatic bid, nope. unfortunately, for the Pioneers this year. So that was a big series. Nodak stays number one. I mean, like the top three swept. So we got... Nodak, BC, Mankato, all holding court. Yeah, St. Cloud with the split. Um, yeah, that, that was, was that was tough. Yeah, I, they keep moving down like little by little, kind of, but they're just they're just there and they're gonna be there. So yeah, I mean, and they like have we something said, to Miami, tough year. team. Yeah, absolutely. You know, no, beat anybody. No, no bad teams. How about we want to do a quick shout out to Dryden McKay getting his oh, 22nd yeah, shutout. Man, that guy's a, just a brick wall, me? man. He's a brick wall. Eight shutties Don't this year. Don't sleep on Cato because yeah, they did lose a lot of talent last year, but they still got it. So much team and a brick wall between the pipes there. So yeah, when he plays there, yeah, I think BC showed out this weekend too. Um, they beat UMass, swept UMass, Lowell. So yeah, I mean, that's a big sweep. I mean, we're talking about top ten teams right now. It's BC and and Mankato are definitely something to be talked about. I well, think. And one team that should be up Two there. Style a games, lot of people but... are arguing. Sorry to no, jump yeah, ahead of you, but uh, you know, we finally put in the BU Terriers. Got them yeah, at number yep. eight this this week. And if it wasn't for you know COVID, mm -hmm. they could be even higher because they just don't lose. Yeah, when everybody's they healthy, they don't games lose. In and yeah, yeah, no, I agree. David Ferentz, absolute wagon. So they're bumping up to eight. Um, who do they got this week that we should? I mean, I want to see them play. BC that's got canceled like three effing times. I think it was at Northeastern. I don't know who they got this week. Actually, I couldn't take this. Well, we'll jump into that later. But yeah, so but I did see like speaking of Northeastern, actually, they had a who did they play on uh, UNH last weekend? And yeah, that they, was they took care UNH of UNH with a healthy Chris close game. The second there. name, second game, but it's five four. But uh, first night was like six two, I think. So yeah, that they're is good. uh, yeah, and they're and they're Jays, man. I love the Jays. You made a post about those, and mm. you got a little people got a little tilted at you for saying, Oh, I, 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 best Jays. They're, they're <laughs> pretty, they're pretty, statement. they're pretty basic. I know, but like, that's the point. We got to get the people fired up, start commenting. Yeah, you, you like know? that? I noticed you I also like went with the best uh rink in college hockey today. I said there. best barn, and that is, is a barn. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say okay. the Ralph is a barn. That's like NHL should hold a Stanley yeah. Cup every year. Like, yeah, <laughs> the Ralph is uh, it's the barn, it's a museum. It's so fucking sick, you know, Dude, like, yeah, so much history, yeah, man, scattered around there. So, okay, that was a good choice of words i was wondering yeah, you're I like said, you're going number one or nothing here yeah I first mean, or last yeah exactly I, obviously <laughs> it doesn't rank up as far as you know nodak but it's right just the atmosphere you got to include the atmosphere and now the facility it's number one bar okay well, how about uh should we touch on the beefs <laughs> nope no yeah. okay uh good job northern <laughs> michigan although bad job northern michigan lost to huntsville who didn't have their jerseys yeah i mean that's true but yeah i mean that was Tough. a big sweep for northern michigan they really needed that one versus the beef such a good team over there but um yeah. yeah big sweep for northern michigan and then and but then to lose to a team that doesn't even have their jerseys i mean come on those fox motors sweaters were tough though. i mean i mean you see them lining up in that io is coming at you at six foot i don't five. even want to put them up in our stalls back here i just want to get it framed and put it on the wall i want to wear it man yeah. i like i want to feel a w yeah you know because <laughs> guess what they took them off the next night 
they got ran. Yeah. It was eight to two. Oh, last they had night. it coming. I can't even imagine who Patoni came in that locker room and said yeah. to the cats, like, you guys just lost to a you're team losing with to Fox jerseys. Motors? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you worked your ass out to go D1 and you're losing to Fox Motors? Like, those jerseys, said Fox Motors, only the best underneath. It's just the circle logo. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. And then <laughs> to lose, like, they played a good game, obviously. Yeah. Tendy stood on his head. But uh, yeah, just a tough scene. So I just want to touch on that. Uh, what other bigs? I'm trying to think. Michigan, Wisconsin, obviously. That was, that was yeah. a late series because that mm-hmm. was Sunday, Monday, yep. I want to say. And uh, a big split. Like Wisconsin kind of got handed to them. Uh, Robbie Baydoon had a really tough first night. And then they came back. I, who's their backup? I forget his name. But uh, I mean, he played the second game, stood out, and they got that a huge split on the road against Michigan. Kept mm-hmm. them at number four because I think without, you know, Baydoon having a tough one, I think they easily could have won the first game. Yeah. shots were there i mean boys were still buzzing it's just hard to come back when you're down you know and there's tough, a four man. goal second period just ripped them so wisconsin's still a really tough team they need they're a little inconsistent but i mean they can just go off and score whenever they want really yeah no it was i think huge for wisconsin yeah after the weekend you have against the gophers you don't want to go and get swept right but uh, uh and a tough matchup oh i thought know? of the goalies uh row it was row for wisconsin Ro, yeah, yeah but name. uh i didn't want to butcher it so yeah I no it he out. uh no that's a big win though and they had a good answer to that and i, I we showed it in our rankings that's why they're still where they are and like, right know, they, they have the talent they beat the number one team gophers twice three times now so um mm-hmm. yeah no it's gonna be interesting come to big 10 tournament like we said with the nchc same thing it's just so so talented all the way through so right i think a lot of I mean, you can say the same thing with wcha like if northern michigan's getting hot right now which they just seemingly are yeah they yeah. could run it too so mm-hmm. yeah love to see that uh ne- should touch on everybody in the big 10 i guess so yeah top 10 uh nebraska omaha sweeping they're yep. moving up and obviously they have the four hardest games of their entire season coming up here against north dakota so they really needed that sweep are against we gonna, colorado college yeah but then we go to number 10 and we had was it quinnipiac quinnipiac bumped up to nine we had but st cloud not, state at 10 yeah wait, that's what we did yeah but quinnipiac was it a shootout or they went OT with Colgate? They no. won in a shootout the first shootout, night and then they was. reamed them the second. Yeah, night. yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, Colgate's uh defensive team, they really can't light up the, the sheets this year. But uh, and I think Petrozelli had like 30 saves both nights. Tough so. guy to go up against, but yeah. Yeah, like they're definitely both offense or not both. Uh, Quinnipiac's an offensive team and they mm. showed it the second night. Kept yeah. them in top 10, bumped them up one because St. Cloud State had a tough one, as we mentioned. They're kind of hanging on by a thread in the top 10 there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, teams are going up and down and sideways and we're going to, especially the UMass not even playing. Yep. Wait till they, you know, show up this week. So right. yeah, a lot of things happening. Should we jump into the series that we like coming up here? Yeah. Let's, I mean, are we talking about next weekend? I think so. I mean, yeah, we covered yeah. pretty yeah. much every That's, big story. Yeah. We don't do want to keep the fans too long without getting a puck in deep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what, what series stands out to you right now? It's, right off the bat, Niagara Mercyhurst. I mean, that is just, Niagara is back niagara's you back you stand big son of a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, we is. have said that like four times though and then it gets postponed so knock on wood knock on wood knock, what knock niagara playing thank you thank you That's, i swear <laughs> to god if i have to edit this out later that the eagles aren't playing i'm just gonna it's gonna hurt yeah, it's gonna hurt and that's a series that time. everyone's gonna want to tune into uh mm-hmm. flow hockey flow hockey yeah you don't want to shout out to our partners in boy. flow hockey we're gonna throw up some more stories we're really gonna nail it we don't want to give you guys too much flow hockey to the face but yeah you know <laughs> too much hockey Flow hockey to the face. I mean, yeah, like I'm thinking about the family guy scene. The guy just brings his wall and just keeps going like this to his face about this flow hockey. But no, man. Yeah. It's uh no, definitely check out Atlanta. Great just the skilled players over there. They're gonna it's gonna get gritty though. You, you got There's NHL know. talent in that game. Mercy Hurst can score this year. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. every game is like five to seven. It's yep. that's crazy. So yep. notice so. how I said five to seven because they lost. <laughs> All right, Johnny. But, don't uh, hurt me. that's it for the big huge man. I mean, Holy Cross, Sacred Heart <laughs> play this weekend, Canisius Air Force. I thought uh, you meant like that's the big Oh no, but well, that's college hockey. That's so. college hockey. Yeah. Yeah. But then we go to the the Big Ten here. I mean, Michigan State, Minnesota. I'll take Minnesota there for a call. Are we doing picks? We can do quick picks. Okay, yeah. let's go big series in Niagara, Mercy Who do you got? I'm going to go split. I will go Mercy here sweep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that's probably more likely, but I know. I'm I mean, you never know. Yeah, yeah, you got to. You got to ride they with got them. got fresh legs. Yeah. Okay. We're going to, um, just for the hell of it, Holy Cross, Sacred Heart. Uh, Sacred Heart in a sweep. You know what? I'm going to take Holy Cross in a sweep. I'm really, Holy die. Cross has been falling, but you know, maybe yeah, maybe, maybe they get never that ECH know. bump with what you just did. Exactly. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. see. We'll see. Uh, one series I do want to say Boston College, Maine. Maine hasn't played in like four mm, weeks. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So they're back in it. They are facing I'll go, I'll their go, hardest opponent of the year. I'm not going split. I'm going sweep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah BC Eagles are sweeping. I mean, it's at Boston College. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. So, yeah. Um, let's stay in the hockey east then. Uh, UMass Lowell. Northeastern, they played. Um, they have, I don't know when the last time they played, but yeah, 
Who do you got? Uh, I'm going to go Northeastern. I think they're more consistent. Uh, sweet. Just a more defensive team. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go split. I'll go split that series. Okay. What about uh, Merrimack, New Hampshire? Remember I predicted that? That Merrimack. I'm going to say I'm gonna say split. Okay. I'll go. Three I'm, I'm going to say sweep this year. New Hampshire had got swept, so they need to bounce back. They're going to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, I think Crookshank is going to bury at least yeah. six. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> no doubt. Let's jump to the Big Ten here. Ohio State, Michigan. Ohio State's really fallen off the face of the planet here, but who do we yeah, got? Yeah. Uh, we're going Michigan. Sweep. Yep. City. I'm with you there. Minnesota, Michigan State. Who do you got? Minnesota sweeps same, city. Same. Uh, Notre Dame, Wisconsin. Uh, Notre Dame's, you know, they're, they're they tough. Look good. They look good versus the Gophers, though. They lost, but they look good. They yeah, score. I'm going to say split because okay. they are a solid team. Yeah. Like, they're going to be gonna tough say in, the, in the tournament. Wisconsin needs a sweep. I'm going to take Wisconsin sweep. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I mean, it's in that yeah, one. That's yeah. what I'm rooting for, but I just, I think Notre Dame's going to show I want to see Notre Dame get one, too. I like their team this year. I think they can do something. So we'll see. I mean, but I just yeah. think the Badgers really need the sweep. So. I say top, but let's go to NCHC here. Mm. Well, tonight we do have uh, CC UMD. We're recording yes. this Thursday. I'm going to say UMD because it's at Amsoil. Oil. I want to go need CC. Uh, Krikshan came came back and he got one in his first second game there. So good to see him back on the ice. Right out our boy going CC. Yeah, I'm going CC with the wow. win tonight. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have yeah. We'll check this out a little later. Old. See how it goes. Yep. But uh, uh, Omaha, North Dakota. We we just had you know. Let's be careful here. Um, I'm uh, not being careful. North Dakota's sweeping. Yeah, same. I love that. Okay. There we go. I don't know where you're going Pinto's with that. That's scaring me a little bit. Three yeah. to four. Yep. Okay. Put it on the board. I'm going to say five block shots in two games. Why am I not seeing the rest of the NCHC schedule numbers. right here? Uh, well, there's not a lot of games. There is uh, CC in St. Cloud playing on Saturday, it says here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so NCHC kind of taking a week out, it looks like. I don't know. Maybe they're... Maybe well we are. I'm reading this off of College Hockey News. They are. I don't know. What, little, what do we got for WCHA this weekend? Are you on the schedule? WCHA. We have Huntsville at Mittens Lake Superior. Ooh, I'm gonna take Huntsville. Split. <laughs> really? Split. I'll just go split. You're gonna go split. I'm gonna go Lake State Sweet Nation. Okay. Um, I just love Huntsville. Now, I mean, right? Mittens hot. That was another thing. Is uh, uh Lake State sweeping yeah. Bowling Green last week. I think they stay hot. Mittens is a wagon. Book it. Book it. We also got Bowling Green at Northern Michigan. Again, Bowling Green needs that W. Northern Michigan has been hot besides the uh, the Fox Motors, you know, mm. really stirring them up a you little bit. You see those on the other side of the blue line, you know you're not winning. Yep. So, but I'll say, I'm going to say BG sweep. I think Cruz really shows up. Connor Ford. You know what? Boys. Yeah, I think the BG really needs it as I sweep. Uh, I Michigan. think Will Cullen's back. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they need him. Yeah, so. well, he won't be back for long. He's going back to the <laughs> boxes where he's back going to. Yeah, him, he, he doesn't like to be the other two. <laughs> uh, Bemidji State, Michigan Tech. Uh, Michigan Tech. Split and sweep? I'm going to go sweep. All right, go yourself uh Bemidji State sweep <laughs> okay I was gonna say we'll call Bemidji State sweep because I we have a beaver coming on the podcast coming up a little bit Ooh. so we need a sweep spoiler. here spoiler yeah I like that one thing we didn't touch on was BU UConn that's a series of hockey east yeah that's a big one UConn split I'm gonna go BU sweep I love UConn you know I'm a big uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go UConn split <laughs> I was like ah, BU is hot man. I'm a big icebox guy <laughs> rising senior Adam Karashek there yeah. Shout out to him, but uh, BU is just too talented. If everybody stays healthy, I'm going to say BU. All right. Well, there's our picks for the week. Uh, we thank all our listeners for tuning into this week. Yeah, make um, sure you're following along on our socials. We'll tell you exactly where to watch all those games. A yeah, lot of college I do want to announce that we are actually signing our first deal um, with the Hockey Podcast Network. Mm. Um, yeah, that Shouts was to them. Yeah, so a little more information will be coming out later this week and into next. Um, yeah, we got to figure out some sponsorship stuff, but the boys are going to start racking in some dough and Putting the pucks in the co. I'll say co. Co. Putting the pucks in the co. I don't that kind of works. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I tried it and it, I, the, the boys are going to start racking up some dough and getting pucks are still getting deep. Now we're just getting yeah. paid for it and exactly. And it, it's just gonna it's just gonna grow the game even further. So started um, from the basement. Now we're here. No, definitely a huge blessing and thank God for it. And man, we're, now we're now we're rolling. So. We're rolling, and it's not even, uh, you know, playoffs for these. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be able to hear us on Pandora now, and all those extra ones. So, um, a lot more platforms to be reached on. Mm. Um, bigger guests are going to keep coming on. I mean, I don't know if they're going to get any bigger than Pinto, but gosh, here we are, man. The episode Stop. we say that every week. Though. I know it. Just like they keep rolling in. Like I don't even know. Big, it's just big guests. Big guests. Yeah. So just assume there's a even bigger guest somehow than next week. I don't know. I big mean, cat. Big cat, <laughs> maybe. I mean, heater. Yeah, I mean, like, we'll have to figure. Can it you out. imagine the heater pod? Oh God, I, I mean, I'd be shaking with anxiety. Just, I don't just even think I'd edit it. it. Just let it just, ride. Like, oh, two that hours. is so just have risky. To tell man. Stories the whole way. Yeah, we yeah. wouldn't have it be sponsored by Wisconsin, obviously. Yeah, but uh, let's send it there. Yeah. So uh, again, <laughs> we want to thank you guys for listening. Uh, remember, you can check us out at Everything College Hockey on Instagram, mm-hmm. Team ECH on Twitter. I think Everything College Hockey on every other platform. So TikTok, TikTok yeah. Facebook, LinkedIn. please, please, if you're listening 
listening to this, Lon, you probably aren't. I mean, I hope you aren't actually for this sake, but um, go follow us on TikTok. We're really trying to get our TikTok up. But yeah, it's obviously follow us Instagram everywhere. Too. Hit the like button, subscribe, download, subscribe. subscribe. It really subscribe. helps. That like, yeah, helps us get pups. We're annoying, indeed. but trust me, it helps and we will love you that much more. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Love you guys and uh, tune in next week. Another huge Big guest yes. coming. Yeah. Big one. Big one. All right. It's a wrap. As a wrap. Kawaguchi. Pinto! Make it two for Shane Pinto! Seville now has the stick of his defenseman. Shane Pinto! Power play goal! Power play right now, and we're just underway. Power play, and a shot in the score. Shane Pinto. Down low. Center it pass, and Pinto buries it. A beautiful setup. And North Dakota ties it one and two. A shot that jumped Bowman back outside the zone. Look at that! They score! In front, Pinto! North Dakota has drawn! Better push back now for North Dakota. The chance! Shane Pinto! In the back of the net! He's been getting chances. You see, this is just a good puck battle that they win. And Shane Pinto goes not too close in front of that net. He hangs out in that high slot area. Gets good look at it, good wood. And